A new telescope built to track fast-moving space objects in Chile has caught a comet from beyond the solar system moving across the sky. Something extraordinary happened on July 1st, 2025. On the 1st of July, NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth, and some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. Deep in the Chilean desert, an automated telescope detected a faint moving dot against the star field. Within hours, astronomers realized they weren't looking at just another space rock. And it was first detected as a speck of light moving relative to background stars. Came from outside the solar system. Right now, it's inside uh, the orbit of Jupiter and is headed for its closest pass to the sun at the end of October. This object was moving far too fast to belong to our solar system. Its speed? A staggering 58 kilometers per second, fast enough to circle Earth in just 12 minutes. But speed isn't the only thing that makes 3i Atlas remarkable. Its trajectory suggests it's been wandering the galaxy for billions of years, and some scientists are quietly wondering if we're witnessing our first encounter with alien technology. The Atlas telescope system in Chile wasn't looking for visitors from other star systems when it made this discovery. ATLAS, short for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, was designed to hunt for dangerous asteroids that might threaten Earth. But on that July night, it captured something unprecedented. Only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected entering our solar system. What makes an object interstellar? It's all about the math. Any object traveling faster than 42 kilometers per second has enough velocity to escape our sun's gravitational pull entirely. Three I Atlas clocks in at nearly 66 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, well above that escape threshold. More telling is its orbital eccentricity of 6. In simple terms, anything above 1.0 means the object follows an open-ended path never to return. To put this velocity in perspective, our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, reached speeds of 26 kilometers per second when it passed through in 2017. The second visitor, Borisov, achieved 32 kilometers per second during its 2019 flyby. 3i Atlas dramatically outpaces both predecessors, establishing itself as the swiftest interstellar wanderer we've ever documented. This extraordinary speed reveals a violent origin story. Celestial bodies never accelerate to those velocities through slow, gentle process. Catastrophic gravitational forces must have hurled 3i Atlas from its birth system, likely during the turbulent epoch when giant planets were still settling into their orbits and flinging debris across interstellar distances. The object's point of origin deepens the enigma. 3i Atlas traces its path back to Sagittarius, a constellation that aligns with our galaxy's crowded core, that brilliant, chaotic region where ancient stars cluster in extraordinary density. But determining what 3i Atlas actually is proved challenging. Upon detection, researchers confronted a critical classification dilemma. Comet or asteroid? The distinction matters enormously. Asteroids are essentially flying mountains, chunks of rock and metal that remain largely unchanged. Comets are dirty snowballs that come alive when solar heat vaporizes their ice, creating the characteristic fuzzy coma and tail we associate with these objects. Early observations suggested 3i Atlas was already showing signs of activity, while still 4.5 astronomical units from the Sun, about four and a half times Earth's distance from our star. This was puzzling because most comets don't become active until they're much closer. The object appeared to have a marginal coma and a short tail spanning about three arc seconds across the sky. Here's where things got interesting from a scientific detective story perspective. If 3i Atlas wasn't an active comet producing its own light show, it would need to be absolutely massive to appear as bright as it did. We're talking about an object potentially 20 kilometers wide, larger than both previous interstellar visitors combined. But this created a statistical nightmare. Interstellar objects should be rare. If the galaxy were filled with massive wandering boulders like this, we should be seeing them regularly. The fact that we've only detected three in modern astronomical history suggests they're uncommon. For 3i Atlas to be both inactive and this large would require the galaxy to contain an impossibly high number of similar objects. 
so many that it would fundamentally contradict our understanding of planetary system formation. The solution came from humanity's most famous space telescope. Hubble turned its powerful eye toward 3I Atlas in late July 2025, um, and the images it captured settled the debate once and for all. The photographs clearly showed a distinct coma of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus, along with a visible tail streaming away from the sun. This was definitive proof. 3I Atlas is an active comet. But Hubble's observations revealed something else crucial. Through careful measurement of the coma's luminosity, scientists could determine the dimensions of the rocky core concealed beneath the glowing envelope. The calculation showed the core measures no more than 5.6 kilometers in diameter and could be as small as 320 meters across. This relatively tiny nucleus was producing a spectacular light show visible from billions of kilometers away. The mystery deepened when scientists began studying the comet's composition. Using spectroscopy essentially breaking down the comet's light into its component colors to identify specific molecules, researchers made a startling discovery. 3I Atlas is producing water vapor at an extraordinary rate, releasing between 6 and 60 kilograms per second, depending on particle size. That's equivalent to losing a small car's worth of mass every few minutes. What's truly puzzling is what's missing from the spectroscopic data. Most comets show clear signatures of cyanogen and other volatile compounds when they become active. These molecules have low sublimation points, meaning they turn from solid to gas at relatively low temperatures. They're usually among the first things we detect when a comet starts outgassing. But 3I Atlas shows no detectable cyanogen despite being clearly active. This missing signature has never been observed before and indicates the comet's makeup is fundamentally different from bodies that formed in our local stellar neighborhood. The water appears chemically pristine, lacking the heavier isotopic fingerprints typically found in local comets. Some models suggest this water could have frozen into the comet as far back as 7 billion years ago, well before Earth existed. The implications are staggering. 3I Atlas might harbor a treasure trove of chemical data from a completely alien star system, granting us unprecedented access to raw materials from another sun's planetary construction zone. This frozen cosmic relic functions as an intact sample from a distant realm, preserving chemical clues about the atmospheric and surface conditions that existed in an unknown solar system throughout deep time. As 3I Atlas approaches its closest point to the sun on October 29th, 2025. Astronomers worldwide are preparing for an unprecedented opportunity. The James Webb Space Telescope is preparing comprehensive spectroscopic analysis, searching for key molecular signatures that could unlock the secrets of this visitor's birthplace. Ground-based observatories will track its behavior as solar heating intensifies the outgassing process. But there's another angle to this story that some scientists find deeply unsettling. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who previously suggested that Oumuamua might be artificial technology, has co-authored a paper asking whether 3I Atlas could be alien hardware in disguise. His argument centers on several unusual characteristics. The object's generous size could easily conceal sophisticated instruments. Its high speed and trajectory could represent engineering choices rather than natural coincidence and its path brings it improbably close to multiple inner planets. Loeb points out that the chance of 3I Atlas's trajectory aligning so closely with the orbits of Venus, Mars, and Jupiter is less than 1 in 20,000. He suggests this could be intentional, perhaps a disguised probe passively mapping our solar system. The timing is also curious. Given its current velocity, 3I Atlas would have entered our solar system's outer regions about 8,000 years ago, coincidentally around the time humans first developed written history. Most mainstream astronomers dismiss these ideas as irresponsible speculation. They point out that 3I Atlas is behaving exactly like a normal comet, showing all the expected signs of ice sublimation and dust production. The missing volatile signatures could simply be explained by the comet's current distance from the sun, most comets don't advertise those gases until they dive deeper into the inner solar system. 
The discovery of 3i Atlas has profound implications for our understanding of interstellar object populations. Based on ATLAS survey data over the past three years, scientists now estimate a density of just 0.001 interstellar objects per cubic astronomical unit of space. These numbers fall well below what scientists had predicted, confirming that such cosmic wanderers are extraordinarily scarce. But rarity doesn't diminish significance. Each interstellar visitor offers a unique window into planetary systems around other stars. These roaming celestial bodies carry the chemical signatures and physical characteristics shaped by alien environments spanning immense galactic distances. 3i Atlas represents our finest opportunity to examine pure, unaltered materials from another star's planetary formation process. The newly operational Vera C. Rubin Observatory promises to revolutionize our ability to spot these cosmic visitors over the coming decade. This facility's comprehensive sky survey will repeatedly monitor the southern hemisphere, identifying fleeting phenomena and mobile objects that earlier telescopes may have overlooked. Experts predict Rubin could discover several new interstellar objects in the coming years. As 3i Atlas continues its journey through our solar system, it will pass closest to Earth on December 19, 2025, at a comfortable distance of 170 million miles. After that, it will swing past Jupiter in March 2026, before curving back into interstellar space, leaving behind terabytes of data and countless questions. Whether 3i Atlas proves to be a pristine comet from the early galaxy or something more exotic, its visit has already changed our perspective. We now know that our solar system sits along a cosmic highway traveled by ancient wanderers carrying messages from distant worlds. Each visitor teaches us something new about the universe beyond our neighborhood and reminds us that we're part of a much larger, more connected cosmos than we ever imagined. The cosmos continues to surprise us with visitors like 3i Atlas, and there's so much more to discover out there. If you enjoy diving into this cosmic mystery, make sure to subscribe to Space Aquarius for more fascinating stories from the final frontier. What do you think about 3i Atlas? Ancient comet or something more mysterious? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss this incredible visitor from the stars.